Hey guys, what's up? It's Vampire Bride, and this is my last video of the year. I'll be back next year with my yearly collection update, but for now it's time for me to step back, spend time with family, and enjoy the holidays. But ending this year's content, I have some bad news about Huntress. After changing out Huntress's radiator fan and radiator, we thought we had solved her overheating problem. We had taken her for a few short test drives, which is really about all we had driven her for since we got her put together last November. It is for short drives around town, Firehawk Formula taking her to work, etc. Well, Firehawk Formula took her out of town. It was about a two hour drive. The drive there was uneventful. It went fine, but the drive back was a different story. After getting pulled over twice within a 10 minute span because the license plate is currently located in the front windshield instead of on the front bumper, Firehawk Formula got back on the road and Huntress overheated again. This was a hard blow as we really thought we had fixed the issue. He let Huntress cool down and made it home safely. Our first thought was that she had blown a head gasket, but we were hoping and praying that we were wrong. There was no white smoke, no oil in the water, and no water in the oil. These are good signs that it was not a blown head gasket. The pistons and rings are good, and we ran a compression test on all cylinders, getting nothing less than 180 PSI out of any of them. But during the combustion test, it was blowing coolant out. So we didn't even bother with a leak down test. A leak down test runs air into the cylinders, measuring how much is lost, and is the usual test for testing whether or not you have a blown head gasket. But at this point, it would just be confirming what we already knew. Combustion gases were leaking into the coolant system and causing it to overpressurize and blow content out. This, of course, explains our coolant loss. The radiator is unable to expel the heat quick enough and the heat rises and rises. Now I want to go back to when we first got the car. If you haven't watched the video of that story, I recommend you go back and watch it now. But I will have a little recap right now. The guy we bought the car from was originally just selling the motor as he wanted to coyote swap the car. Then soon after we saw that he was also selling the body of the car and we bought that as well to put the motor and transmission back in. It seemed to run and drive nicely as he said it would and it was a clean 73,000 mile car. But there was one thing we just never understood. It didn't add up why he wanted to coyote swap this fairly clean Mach 1. Well, now we know. It was probably already having issues with the motor and they didn't present themselves to us until we were able to drive it more after getting the car legalized. Though this was a fairly heavy and costly blow, we don't plan on giving up on Huntress. After all the work, money, and mods that we have put into this amazing car, we're just not ready to stop. So it's time to rebuild the motor. I'm talking forged rods and pistons, adding cams, long tubes, port and polished heads and intake. Replacing the clutch and seals, timing chain guides, lash adjusters, and converting the fuel system to E85. To add just a little more horsepower. By the time we are done rebuilding this motor, the goal is to have 400 horsepower to the rear wheel. The transmission still seems to be fine, but while the motor is out of the car, we will check the input shaft to make sure and rebuild or replace if necessary. So though we won't be able to fully enjoy Huntress for a while, we still have some big plans coming up for her. She'll be put away for the winter, 
awaiting her motor rebuild next year. Though I do have some videos coming out next year in the meantime. This is kind of a sad way to end the year with a blown head gasket in the car and the PSC in pieces. 2020, as with a lot of things, has not been our year for cars or computers, but these things will begin to be resolved next year. As we have many plans for hunters and the computer as well who currently does not have a name because after all the components replaced and not being in a case, it is time for a new name. Well, that's all for today's video. I will be back next year with my yearly collection update where I show all of the pieces, games, and collectibles that we have collected throughout the year and talk a little bit about a select few of the items. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and of course subscribe for more videos to come. Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year.